How to increase website traffic fast using four simple tools. What's up everyone? My name is James Jernigan. Welcome to my channel, James Jernigan SEO and Digital Marketing, where I give you tips about how to get free traffic from search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, you name it, DuckDuckGo, anywhere people are searching, I want them to find you organically for free. So that's what this channel is about. I also talk about things like social media marketing and automation using bots. The bottom line is I want as many people finding your website as humanly possible and I want it to happen fast. A lot of people say it can't be done, so that's what we're here to talk about. This video is gonna be particularly helpful for beginners, people who are just setting up their first website or maybe you've set up a website and it's just not getting a lot of traffic. And if you've had a website for a while and it's already getting traffic, then definitely don't continue watching this video because I would hate for you to learn something new. So let's jump into what I wanna show you. Four simple tools for increasing your website traffic fast. Here is the first tool, it's called Google Analytics. If you are getting started with building a website or generating organic traffic, this is the first place to start. It's Google Analytics, it's very simple to install on your website. Depending on where you built your website, the steps will be a little different. But when you sign up for your Google Analytics account, which by the way is free, it will walk you through exactly how to get this set up. Now the reason you want Google Analytics installed is pretty obvious because it's gonna show you how many people are coming to your website and give you a bunch of details about what they're doing. For example, here we can see how many users, how many new users, um, we can see our bounce rate, we can see the number of sessions per user, and important things like the average session duration, so how long people are spending on the website. In this case here, this is one of my blogs, hustlemarketing.com, and this month I've had, or uh, in the past three months rather, this is set to three months, the past three months, my blog has got 1,297 visitors with the average visit being a minute and 23 seconds, almost a minute and a half. So needless to say, this is the first place to start with getting traffic to your website. Now, this tool is going to show you a ton more data, but uh, primarily, if you're focused on organic traffic, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to see is scroll down to acquisition, and then you can just click on overview here, and here you can see in this same time period, I have this nice graph here showing me that 44% uh, of my traffic to this blog is coming from organic search. That's free traffic, and that's coming from Google and uh, search engines. So then the second biggest chunk here at 34.5% is social, social media, again, free. That's what I specialize in. That's what we're here to do on this channel. So if you're new and you like the sound of that, getting thousands of people to your website for free, then go ahead and click the bright red subscribe button down below so you get my content. Um, and click the bell if you wanna get it as soon as it comes out so you can get the visitors coming as soon as possible. Pretty, pretty, uh, Logical, right? That's what we wanna do, get the visitors fast, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the bell, and you'll get more helpful content like this. So this is Google Analytics, it's going to show you important details like this. Now what I wanna show you next is how to take this data and interpret it in a way that can help you get more people to your website, so that when you're here under the uh, Audience tab, you can see this graph going up and up like you do here. So the next tool I wanna to show you is called Google Search Console. This is another free tool from Google that is an absolute must have if you're new to SEO or even if you're advanced with SEO. This is a tool that you're just going to need to use to monitor the progress of your website. So this is the type of jump I want you to get in your website as well. This is the past three months here and you can see in the past two months, my website has gone from getting about 300 to 400 impressions per day to now getting 8,000, over 8,000 impressions every single day organically in Google search results, which has, according to Search Console here, resulted in 571 clicks. Now there's different tools you can use that'll give you different numbers. This is just kind of an estimate, it's not always exact, but um, with Google Search Console, you get a variety of details. Like I can scroll down here and see which keywords bring my blog the most impressions. And here, most of all of them have to do with SEO and organic marketing. Surprise, surprise, that's what we're talking about. That's what I want people finding me for organically in search results. And you can see over the past two months, that is uh, you know, close to a 10X in 
traffic there in uh, organic impressions and as the impressions go up so do the clicks and this is important data for you to have so there's a few other things you can do with search console you can also check links if you click on this links button here you can see what websites are linking to yours so you can monitor uh, what kind of websites are referring to your websites links are an important part of SEO so this will help you keep track of this and the important part um, about both this tool analytics and search console aside from the fact that they're free is that they're owned by Google so the data they have is going to be pretty accurate if what we're trying to track is our ranking in particularly Google search results because Google is the most popular search engine so we want to be using Google's tools to uh, track the progress of our website so the next tool I'm going to show you here is how to put this data together, right? So you see how many people are coming to your website here in analytics. And if we go to acquisition, we can see that 44% are coming from organic search. And so speaking of organic search, then we look at search console and we scroll down and we say, okay, these are the words people are using to find our website. So here we have, uh, SEO ranking software, for example, has led to 3,887 impressions. So what we could do is copy this keyword and come to the third tool I want to show you, which is called Shine Ranker, and it is also linked down below if you want to check it out and start using it. Now, what we could do with Shine Ranker, first of all, is come here to the traffic checker and just check the traffic for our blog. So I'll put my blog there, Hustle Marketing in, and click check, and we'll give it a few minutes to see what comes up. Now, what's cool about this is you get a lot of information right away. We can instantly see uh, many keywords is finding more and more here. It's going up and now it's found 100 keywords that my blog ranks for in Google search results. And we can see a little bit more detail here inside of ShineRanker than we can see here in Search Console. So here in ShineRanker, we can see the keywords, for example, CTR manipulation tool gets 170 searches a month on Google. I currently rank uh, in the seventh spot on Google for this keyword. My previous rank was 21. And uh, the reason this tool knows this is because if you see this word is highlighted yellow here. And so if I scroll over, there's a little check here. And by clicking check, this is adding this to a project here. I've already created a project, but if you're new to this tool, you'll just click add project, put your blog in. And then what's happening when I highlight these and they turn yellow, that means I'm tracking these keywords in a project. So next time I log in, it will update this with my previous rank and my current rank. So if I scroll down and find the gray ones, you see the gray ones all say NA in previous rank because it just discovered that I have rankings for these keywords. But then if I scroll over and I click the button to track it, it will pay attention and update itself next time and let me know. And it's as simple as clicking on my project here and if I click on my project, I can see all of the keywords that I'm tracking. And if we select all, we can come to update difficulty of selected keywords and check this out. It's going to show me the difficulty of the keywords that my website ranks for. So some are easy. Here we have a hard one, affiliate marketing on YouTube. Um, current rank is 50 for that keyword, so not great, uh, but it's hard. You get the idea, you can use this to track how your website is ranking for particular keywords. Now, there's a lot more you could do with this tool, which is what separates it from the free tools that are available from Google. For example, keyword research. Remember, if we have this keyword here inside of Google Search Console, SEO ranking software, and we copy that, what we could do here with keyword research is put this keyword in and find similar keywords. So we can enter some variations, SEO ranking software, uh, SEO software and let's say ranking software all variations of the same keyword so we will click submit and what this tool is going to do is show you other keywords that you can target to get additional traffic to your website so if we take a look back here at search console we have SERP checker SEO ranking software website ranking software Google keyword ranking a lot of variations talking about very similar things. So what this tool will do is give us even more ideas. And so instead of showing 10 entries, we will show 50. Should update, there we go. Now we can see 50 keywords and you can see the difficulty right here. And not only the difficulty, but the monthly searches. So 
we can even organize this data. So if we click on monthly searches twice, it will organize it based on the keywords that get the most monthly searches down to the ones that get the least, which is a great way for us to prioritize which of these we want to target, right? But if we look more, this top one, SEO tools free, says difficulty hard and average CPC, this is the cost per click if you were to run ads. So to run ads on this keyword SEO tools free, you would be paying $8 every time someone clicks on this on your ad for this keyword so very expensive even though it gets a lot of searches and another important aspect is the in title results this is how many of the websites showing up in google search results have this keyword in the title because obviously that's important for seo so if we scroll down what we could do with this tool is find the ones that say easy so website analysis tool that's a little goofy right instead of website being one word it's two here but the fact is 880 people search this on google every single month and according to this tool it's easy to rank for because less than 10 people have this keyword in the title of their web page so it would be super easy for us to create content about this keyword and get organic traffic, meaning getting our website showing up here in Search Console, it will tell us that our website starts showing up for this keyword. Now, the way you do this is using the fourth tool I want to show you here. And so what we're gonna do is just copy this keyword. And by the way, there's more that you can do with this tool. I'll come back to it later in the video. I just wanna show you the fourth tool and this is called Jarvis. This is an AI content generator. It's linked down below if you wanna check it out and follow along. But basically what we're gonna do is create some content for this easy keyword that gets 880 searches a month. So all we'll do is click create a new document. We can start from scratch or create a blog post workflow. Let's do that. So keywords, there we'll put our keyword, website analysis tool, describe the content you wanna create. This blog will explain how to use a website analysis tool to audit your website, find valuable keywords and rank higher in search results. Boom, that's what we wanna write about. So we'll click continue. Now we're gonna let the AI generate a title for us. Give it just a second here. And we can just select from these different ones here. How to use a website analysis tool to audit your website, find valuable keywords, uh, and rank higher in search results. That sounds good, we'll use that one. So now we can also use this to generate an intro paragraph. So we will go ahead and do that. And it gives you three uh, samples to choose from here. So we'll read the top one. If you're looking to improve your website and rank higher in search engine result pages, you need to be using a website analysis tool. These tools allow you to see how your website is performing, find valuable keywords, and identify areas of improvement. In this blog post, we'll show you how to use a website analysis tool to get the most out of your website. Boom, we'll use that one and click open editor. So there you go, it puts your intro paragraph right into the writer for you. You have your title here, so we'll copy that. And uh, best practice in SEO is to have your title match your H1. So we will go ahead and create an H1 title. There we go, we have a title, we have an intro paragraph. Now the way this tool works is if you scroll over here, you can select the output length. We'll collect long because we wanna get as much content as quickly as possible. Tone of voice here, I like to use Neil Patel because his blogs are very easy to read. Uh, and I want my blog to be easy to read, but you can pick uh, any celebrity or person you want. This is using AI uh, artificial intelligence to create your content. So pick a tone of voice, click an output length, and then the next thing you do is just continue writing the content here. So this says, uh, we'll show you how to use a website analysis tool to get the most out of your website. So we'll say the first thing you need to know about getting organic traffic is the importance of keywords and then we'll click compose and let the tool do the work for us so we'll see what the tool comes up with keywords are the phrases that people type into search engines in order to find information or products if you want your website to show up in those search engine result pages you need to include include those keywords on your site the website analysis tool allows you to see which keywords are being searched for the most and which ones have the highest potential for traffic so it goes on here with another paragraph and then it's as simple as that. 
Um, you can see here it left this sentence unfinished, so we'll finish it. This way you can focus your efforts on targeting high traffic, low competition keywords that will help improve your website's ranking. Boom, we can just put a period and that sentence is done. So then we just literally continue the process you just saw, type another sentence and let the tool continue writing. And we already have 234 words in just a few minutes. So you can see in a few more minutes, we could have a 500 word or 1000 word blog post. And then it's as simple as clicking copy and pasting this onto a new page of your website. And then of course, you're gonna use your keywords in the URL. So your URL might be your website yourwebsite.com slash and then you'd make your URL something like website analysis tool right because now our keyword will be in the URL it will be in the h1 it will be in the title and there will be lots of variations of it throughout our content which means that shortly once this page gets indexed and crawled by Google and gets uh, actually ranked then it will start showing up here in our search console and eventually getting clicks and increasing the amount of traffic coming to our website and that's the ultimate goal right to get as many people to our website as fast as possible so like i said all these tools are linked down below here analytics this is free from google search console also free from google and shine ranker is not free but i assure you that if you are selling anything if you're using your website to make money this tool is going to help you do that because it's going to show you all of these easy keywords that get hundreds and hundreds of searches per month that could ultimately be coming to your website if you just take a few minutes to create some content here using ai post it on your website and boom your website will be growing before you know it and hopefully looking like this graph here, just going up and up, getting thousands of organic impressions every single day. So if this video helped you in any way, you could do me a huge favor by smashing the thumbs up. That's gonna show it to more people and tickle the algorithm and hopefully help even more people create quality content faster using AI and rank it using these tools I've shown you. So if you wanna see more content like this, you know what to do. Click the red subscribe button down below if you wanna get it right away. Click the bell, and other than that, I can't wait to see your website on the first page of Google search results.